Well, it has been almost a year since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, and pro-lifers continue fighting for the unborn. A pair of Republican lawmakers are pushing a resolution acknowledging unborn babies have a right to life, and they're using a constitutional amendment to do it. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Good evening, Tracy. You know, just after the Civil War in the 1860s, Congress passed the 14th Amendment, giving slaves the right to life and liberty. Now, Congressman Doug Lamborn tells me that he's sponsoring a new resolution using the 14th Amendment to cover any child living in the womb. The 14th Amendment was originally intended and should be interpreted now as protecting everyone's right to life, and that includes the unborn. Arizona Congresswoman Debbie Lesko, a co-sponsor, said in a statement, quote, the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution guarantees equal protection under the law and ensures that no one is unjustly deprived of their fundamental rights to life and liberty. Both say the resolution is consistent with the U.S. Supreme Court's Dobbs decision. But even some pro-life advocates argue against relying only on the 14th Amendment to protect the unborn. I think it would behoove pro-lifers to respect its original intent and perhaps use other means to fight for the protection of the unborn that will ultimately hold up long term and hold up much better than using the 14th Amendment as a bludgeon. Still, Congressman Lamborn tells me people need to think about others instead of just themselves. There are people who are so intent on protecting the mother's autonomy to her body and her life, they don't they're not willing to recognize that the child within them is a different, a separate, another life. And what about the 2024 presidential election? Pro-lifers tell me that they will only back a nominee who supports federal minimum protections for the unborn. We're very focused on, you know, a presidential nominee who would support a gestational limit at 15 weeks at most when an unborn child can feel pain. By the way, this resolution isn't intended to become law. It's meant to be used as a guide to protect the unborn from all three branches of government and to raise awareness about the issue. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.